You might not realize how some of the things you do to your Shih Tzu can influence them. If you're new to being a pet owner, or even if you've had your Shih Tzu for a long, even with the best intentions, we all make mistakes as pet owners from time to time. However, we aim to provide the finest possible home and life for our Shih Tzu. Let's take a look at some things you shouldn't do to your Shih Tzu. But before we engage in the video, if you would love a simple dog training strategy that will develop your dog hidden intelligence and create the obedient well-behaved pet of your dreams, then click the link in the description to get access to the strategy that will reveal how you can quickly eliminate all bad behavioral problems. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in getting useful tips and guides about your dogs and cats that will make you be a better pet owner. 6 Things You Must Not Do To Your Shih Tzu Dog 1. Veterinary Wellness Checks Should Not Be Skipped If you only take your Shih Tzu to the veterinarian when they are sick, you may be jeopardizing their long-term health. Adults ages 1 to 7 should be visited once a year for a basic health exam, while those ages 8 and up should be seen twice a year. These visits are essential for keeping a Shih Tzu's health on track and identifying possible problems early. A complete blood count, CBC, biochemistry profile, urine, fecal testing, and thyroid hormone testing are all common tests. These tests are used to rule out a variety of illnesses, immunological responses, organ function, parasitic worms, thyroid hormone production, and more. The veterinarian will look for issues that are common in Shih Tzu. Eyesight, hearing, weight, muscular condition, skin and coat health, heart rhythm, lung function, and a variety of other factors will be evaluated. It is a disservice to a canine family member to skip over these vital checkups. 2. Avoid allowing your Shih Tzu to consume food additives or fillers. Additives are substances that are added to food, human, canine, or other, to preserve, flavor, color, or otherwise change the meal. Many dog meals contain additives, the majority of which are harmful to a dog's health. Allergies and a wide spectrum of diseases and ailments have been related to additives. It's crucial to stay on top of things because some of these don't have to be listed on the ingredient list by law. Stick to wholesome, all-natural kibbles, dog snacks, and training treats to avoid additives and fillers. You may also want to consider home cooking for your Shih Tzu, which allows you to have complete control over the ingredients. This is great for pet parents who enjoy cooking and have the time to shop and prepare meals. 3. Don't give your Shih Tzu alcohol. While it may appear cute to see a dog stumble around, giving your dog alcohol is actually abuse. It will have an effect on their neurological system, causing diarrhea, vomiting, and maybe hypothermia. Worse, many people's drink mixes contain the artificial sweetener Zillital, which is hazardous to dogs even in little doses. 4. Remember to groom your Shih Tzu. Having a dog as a loyal, cute, and lively companion is wonderful, but there is always some maintenance to be done. Grooming a dog is an important aspect of owning one, especially if it's a Shih Tzu with a double coat of long hair. Shih Tzu grooming is popular due of their high maintenance nature. However, given the circumstances, a standard professional grooming session can be costly and difficult to obtain. Apart from saving money, grooming your Shih Tzu yourself has several benefits, including helping you bond with your dog, saving time, and protecting your dog from the stress of going to the clinic. However, if you're new to this, doing it yourself may seem daunting. 5. Don't forget to get some exercise. Shih Tzu require approximately 70 minutes of daily activity, and because they are little dogs, it is advisable to divide their daily walks into two or three sessions. Remember that playing with your dog is also exercise, so make sure you provide time for them to recover, so they don't get too weary or overstimulated. Exercise promotes blood circulation and strengthens a dog's heart, for fewer heart-related issues down the line. Aids in the control of blood glucose levels in the body, reducing the chances of developing canine diabetes later in life. Is supposed to aid in the maintenance of a healthy immune system as well as the extension of lifespan. Strengthens the bones and supporting muscles of a dog, for fewer hip and knee issues. Aids in the proper functioning of the metabolism. 6. Don't walk your Shih Tzu with the wrong walking accessories. 
If your Shih Tzu's collar, harness, or leash is too tight or restricts his mobility, it can be rather uncomfortable for him. Wrong walking accessories can not only make your Shih Tzu reluctant to walk, but they will also cause skin irritation, which will cause your Shih Tzu to whimper. Unfitting leashes, collars, and harnesses will almost certainly cause your Shih Tzu to refuse to walk, so make sure you choose the right ones. Make sure collars and leashes are secure, but not so tight that two fingers can't fit through. Make sure that your Shih Tzu's legs, tail, and ears, among other things, can move freely. To avoid irritating your Shih Tzu's skin, make sure their accessories are totally dry before reapplying them if they go out in the rain or snow. If you own a Shih Tzu dog and you enjoyed this video, comment below on how your dog is like. If you would love to see more amazing videos on your dogs and cats, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification icon. Catch you on the next one. Bye.